Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap FX Design Team for September 2021. This is my second project for September. Today I'm doing a four page spread in my Scrap FX junk journal. So I've selected some paint colours here and I'm just starting out with the first two pages of the junk journal and I'm just basically painting down some organic shapes. I'm trying to avoid having sort of blocky areas of paint strokes so I'm just painting splotches of organic shapes to give it a bit more of interest in the background. So I've added the pink here and then added a bit of white to that pink and I'm really basically using my pages as a bit of a palette mixing those colours down as I'm blending them on the page. Just popping down a bit of yellow here now and again really trying to concentrate on not having rectangle sort of splotches really looking for more organic shapes just to give it a bit more visual interest in the background just giving it a second coat as that yellow is a little bit translucent Just moving on to my other two pages and again starting with the pink tone and I've got a spare piece of paper here as well because one of the pages is a transparency and so I want to do a little bit of collage on that one so I'm using just some heavyweight cardstock here and again adding a bit of white to that pink and blending that in so I get a few shades of pinks I'm just trying to be very organic with the way that I'm brushing my paint onto the page. Again, adding a little bit of yellow. And now some splotches of white. Again, just trying to blend those in so I don't have any harsh lines or any harsh sort of square rectangle shapes on the background. And again, adding the white to the front first two front pages and I'm working in that rule of thirds so making sure I have sort of three patches on each page of the block colors just so that it's visually interesting and pleasing here I'm using a bit of Dana Wakeley acrylic sprays and I'm just looking for a little bit of spray action and a bit of drippage on the page just in this beautiful teal and again just trying to blend that off and get that drippage using my finger to blend in as well and also adding it to the collage piece that I'll be using on the transparency. I'm just tilting the back the pages up and down just so that I can encourage that drippage. A little bit of paint splatter, just using the tube from the bottle. I'm making sure that's nice and dry before I flip back over and add more splatter. Now I'm using the black paint here just to add some 
mark making and a bit of um, organic shapes as well. This will give me a, an area where I can um, do some white doodling and give that real contrast to the background. So I'm just using my paintbrush to make some marks and some paint splashes here. But you can see that it's a real pop of colour. I've also painted on to the frond stamp, this is a smaller one, and I'm just painting directly with the paintbrush onto the stamp. It doesn't stamp as well as it should, so I can go back over with a brush and fill in those areas. Which I'm doing here, just, just correcting that stamped image a little bit, making it nice and sharp and crisp. A little bit more mark making here with the paintbrush. Just that repetitive pattern really helps the eye to flow across the pages. And now I'm using the circle segment stencil. This is a new um, stencil design for September. And I'm just randomly stenciling that across the page. I'm using my white ink pen here, gel pen, to do a little bit of doodling around all those black areas. So just mark making in the black splotches and sort of doodling over the stamped areas as well. And even on the mark making with the brush strokes. And this really just sort of ties everything together. I really like the look of the white gel pen on that stark black. Here I'm using a Posca pen to doodle around the circle segments and just make them a little bit more crisp in their line. I'm using the old script um, collage rice paper here and I'm just tearing up small little bits and adding that across my pages. Just using some gel medium to glue that down. The beauty of the rice paper is that it's translucent when glued down so we still get all that design, we're not covering up everything that was put down beforehand. I'm using some archival ink and I've got the collage circle stamp and I'm just randomly stamping that across the page as well just to give some more visual interest to the background and a pop of colour. Here I'm just auditioning the stamp set. This is the larger frond and I'm actually using uh, Versamark ink here to stamp that out which gives me much better impression on the page. And again on my little collage sheet as well for my transparency. The ink takes a little bit longer to dry so I'm just making sure that's completely dry before I go over with my pens. And now I'm just repeating the same process that I did on the first two front pages by putting in a little bit of mark making with the black paint. And now using that segment, circle segments again in the stencil and just putting that in the background just so that it has some uniformity as you flip over the pages. And you can see that the layout still flows on. I'm using a white Posca pen here to do the doodling to the large front stamp. Just adding those extra details and that little bit of detailing outlining all those little stenciled and stamped areas. 
and now I'm adding that rice paper. This is the old script rice paper that I had on the previous page. Just adding that to the page as well so we have that uniformity. And again, that repetitiveness. So we're adding the collage circle stamps here with archival ink in the hot pink and then that tealy tone. So I'm also using the chicken wire stamp as well. Now these have been released for September as well. These are called the Confetti Sisters. They are a smaller version of um, the ladies that were released the previous month um, and so these are a really great size for the junk journal so I'm just fussy cutting those ones out and now I'm just adding a little bit more doodling to that collage paper I'll use this bit of collage paper that I'm making here for my transparency so that the transparency looks a part of the layout so I'm just fussy cutting that frond, the large frond out and I'm leaving a little bit of a border so that you can see all that paint work and the colours come out um, which match the pages from the previous layout. Just auditioning my little ladies here, working out where I want placement and now I'm just using a little bit of black paint here to edge around the collage papers. Just trimming off that smaller girl so she fits nicely on the page and now I'm using that black paint to edge around all my pages just so I don't have any of that stark white cut edge. So once I'm happy with that layout where I've auditioned the confetti girls I will now glue those down again using a bit of gel medium and I'm just making sure they've got a nice little amount of glue on the bottom and then painting straight over the top so that they've got a nice secure placement. Now I've cut up a little bit of that collage paper that you saw me previously painting and stamping. I'm going to glue that directly down onto the transparency. This is the the fussy cut frond from that same collage piece and then we'll lay the confetti sister down on the top. Just a little bit of an assemblage basically on the transparency and that works really well. This is the craft paper um, sayings it's called uh, sorry craft words and this one is journey so I've just found some quotes that I like that I feel work well with my layout and I'm gluing those down again with the matte medium just cutting them up into segments and making them fit upon my page Once they're nice and dry, I'm going back over because they're black based with that craft. I felt that the gel pen would work well, so I'm just tracing over the lettering and then using the Posca pen to border those little word phrases out. And again, just a little bit more highlighting with the white gel pen around those word phrases. Just so that they really pop because the background is quite chaotic. And so we just want those little phrases to really stand out and give meaning to the page. Quickly going back over some doodled areas that 
we're brushed off with the glue and doodling around the images of the ladies just to make them really a part of the page. Giving them that little sketchy line around their bodies. Now I'm using some Prismacolor of Colour pencils here just to highlight some areas on the collage paper. So I'm just going back in and colouring the facial features, the hair, and then colouring in all those little confetti dots as well. Just to add a little hopper colour onto the collage papers as well. And that kind of helps them to bleed into the page and look like they belong and not just added pieces to the top of the painted background. So just adding similar colours that I've used either in the background or on the ladies themselves. And I'm not spending a great deal of time, it's quite sketchy sort of colouring in. A little bit of fluoro pink splatter always finishes off a great project. And that's it, my art journal page is completed. I hope you enjoyed this little process, it was quite easy in using Michelle Logan's little confetti ladies, or sisters should I say. I hope you get to have a play with them, they're such a great little design. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.